What's up guys? Uh, so today we're gonna be working on the Civic Sedan. Today I'm gonna be cleaning most of the car out. Um, getting it ready because it's going to the paint booth. That's right, paint booth. Uh, so the car, here, let me show you what it looks like right now. <clears throat> so this is the car. Uh, 2099, I'm not completely sure of the year. 2000 Civic sedan. Uh, came to, with some rotor slips. But as you guys saw before, the car is getting a 5 blood conversion along with CTR wheels. Uh, the car has some custom faded paint. Uh, got some clear peel in right there. Uh, it's got some a little bit of rust there, but that's gonna get repaired. I mean, this car is a real beaut, but she's got potential. Uh, I didn't get to record it, but I also the, the bumper's like cracked down there, and it's cracked on the uh, corner right here. But I actually just got back from the junkyard. And we got a front bumper and a rear bumper, and I already dropped that off at my buddy's place. And I believe I'm. Oh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to clean out most of these parts inside of here. It's not really much. It's sort of like just interior pieces that needs to be put back in place. Um, so the, with the car, I bought the car with no carpet. And here's the carpet. I got it. I can't remember how much I got it for, but it's really, really nasty looking. But I'm going to go and try to power wash it, clean it as much as possible. Maybe dye it. I'm not completely sure, but I need to clean this uh, and then get it back inside. Then I'll be able to put these interior pieces back on and uh, it'll be ready for paint still be debating or not whether I want to put the interior pieces because I, I'm not sure if he's going to paint the door jams. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe I'll just leave it off for him. Clean everything out. Take everything out. Get this thing dyed. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take these pieces out. Alrighty, so pretty much just threw all this crap out. Um... Probably should vacuum it, but everything's out of the car. This is going into my daily somewhere over there. Um, some of this stuff is for sale. Some of this stuff I'm throwing away. So hopefully you guys see this video and message me. But uh, I think I have double interior panels. I uh, I forgot that these interior panels were in the trunk, and I went ahead and bought some interior panels for the car. Um, so I only need one pair, but I also think I have like a manual cluster. I don't know why there's two, but there's one in there and I have this one outside. So yeah, now I just need to vacuum the car and let's see, what else do I need to do before it goes to the paint booth? Oh. Oh, I need to get this manifold off. This exhausted manifold. Axle needs to come out. Power steering. Uh, yeah, I need to pull the power steering too. Power steering. All the mounts need to come out. All the mounts. Power steering needs to get looped. Should be ready soon. Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're dropping off my mounts. Uh, here at Coded Metal and Graphics. If you guys want to check them out, they're here. 2453 Jackson Pike, right off of Frank. Dropping off my mounts and my battery tray. Figured out to get them battery powder coated as well. Uh, I was really happy with my trailing arms, so back at it again. Give them guys a holler. I already got the car power washed for the most part. Uh, now I just need to put it in neutral and back this thing out. Um, Jack's on his way to get the, get the car picked up here shortly. Um, so, yep. Take a look. 
it's not bad honestly but uh does need some cleaning does need some paint and definitely needs love the things that i do to get my cars done i'm just pushing it along I got about half a mile to push the car, but it's okay. Alrighty, so got the car to the uh, building. Now I'm just waiting for my buddy to show up anytime now. I think I hear him. Just kidding. Wait, no, I still hear something. It's gotta be him. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, buddy. This is legit. Alrighty, so here's the uh, current condition of the car. I already got a new front bumper, so don't even worry about that. Everything's pretty old. Clear is peeling. A little bit of rust here. No biggie. melted bumper but that's I already got a rear bumper as well a little little dent there I don't know you think I should get a new fender I didn't see this one here There she goes. Alrighty guys, so we're back here at uh, Coded Metal and Graphics. I kid you not, literally, I just dropped off these parts to them yesterday and they've already gave me a call to come pick up the parts. Uh, and I actually needed to drop off more parts to them, but they're already done with my uh, first drop off, so. Cool. Alrighty, so. I mean, this thing looks like it's OEM, like brand new out the box. Like, come on. Mounts, you got the T-bracket, transmission mount, got a battery tray, and then you got the transmission torque mount. I gotta say, Coded Metal and Graphics, they are very, very good uh, company to work with. I've dealt with them twice already. I dropped off my third uh, batch of um, brackets and whatnot that I needed powder coating. Their uh, quality of work is really good. The turnaround time is amazing. It's it's usually faster than what they actually quote me. And then the prices are very, very um, affordable. If you guys haven't already, please go check them out. Again, that's Coated Metal and Graphics. That's Coated with a K. Um, so go check them out. Alrighty, that's it for today's episode. Uh, if you guys like what you're watching or what you have watched, please let me know. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think, what you guys wanna see in the future videos, uh, what contents. Uh, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, the notification button, and uh, like always, have a nice day, and see you guys next time.